Well, well, well. Uh, what's today's topic again of this speech? Tribute, right? Sorry, I was zoning off over there. I got a confession to make, actually. I didn't do this speech. Uh, I had two midterms, and, well, they were just more important. Uh, okay, I got an idea. How about I pay tribute to this chair? This lovely chair with these silver metal legs with the light shines down upon it. That doesn't work, does it? Oh, okay. Uh, how about the lights? I thank you, Mr. Thomas Edison, for giving us light. When there's no light, I feel sad, blue. But when there's light, I'm happy, awake. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, what the heck is he doing up here? I mean, he's just like bullshitting. That's exactly what I want you to think. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning I pay tribute to a higher cause, greater than grief, love, or happiness itself. It's something everyone does on a daily basis and doesn't even know it. This morning at around 9 o'clock in the morning, I pay tribute to the art of bullshit. But what is bullshit? Harry G. Harry G. Frankfurt, a retired professor of philosophy at Princeton, wrote an essay called On Bullshit. And he says, and I quote, it is a lack of connection to concern with the truth. This indifference to how things are, that I regard is the essence of bullshit. Now, bullshit has been around since the dawn of man. But of course, like everything, it evolves. And because of laziness, and because we just want to make ourselves look smarter, we give it different names, don't we? The, the first, we have to give it an acronym because we're, we're too lazy to say bullshit. So we say BS. Everything was BS. Now, from that, now a catalyst to bullshit is, of course, procrastination. Now, who here has not been working on a paper at 3 in the morning and while it was due at 10 in the morning the next day? I admit I have, and I'll tell you what, it was the best work I've ever done. I probably got a higher grade on that, that paper than I would have if I would have done it a week prior. But why? Why does bullshit work? Well, it allows us to be free and not be critical or over judgmental of ourselves. In a sense, we don't care, but in it's, it's in a good way. Now, look back. Some of the wealthiest and most brilliant minds have used bullshit. Take the CEO of Reese's. Now, you think he was doing studies and case studies of how chocolate and peanut butter mixed? I don't think so. He was just bullshitting around one day, and now he's a multi-billionaire. Now, if you go back, even it, back in our history, you have the founding fathers held to the greatest esteem in our country. But you know there was some major bullshitting going on back then. There was no precedent for what they were doing. They just wanted everyone to join the union. And need I give an example of bullshit in today's society? George W. Bush. I say no more. <laughs> By mastering the art of bullshit, you won't have to look like an idiot, like I did and uh, started this speech. Even if you have, say, two midterms, you can pay tribute to a chair or even light, lighting. So if I had a glass right now, I'd raise it as high in the air as possible and say, thank you, bullshit, for always being there for me when no one was. Thank you for not letting me turn to alcohol when I was at my weakest. Thank you for all those times that I wanted to call in sick or when I just didn't know what to say to somebody. And most importantly, thank you for saving my butt on multiple occasions when I could have failed an assignment. Thanks for all the memories and the memories that are still to come. Thanks. See you during finals. <laughs>